What I can see here is a limestone bed that is suddenly disrupted by these steps in the landscape. So we can see this flat but jointed limestone bed coming down. Suddenly it starts stepping in these series of steps down to the level that I'm standing on, which actually it sort of disappears, the limestone, and I'm stood on a shale. So what we're seeing here is a series of sort of splays of a, another type of fault. And we're gonna look more closely at these fault surfaces to work out what the sense of motion is. But already what I can tell is that my limestone bed is stepping down and then stepping down again, right the way over there. So with those steps down, what I'm doing is I'm extending that limestone bed. Now come down to look at one of these little extensional structures in, in um, a little bit more detail. So we can see that this joins up to those extensional steps that I was just describing from a kind of macro scale. Uh, we could see this limestone bed being stepping down and being extended. So if we look more carefully, this plane has got calcite along it and it's forming these ridges. If we look at the plane itself, it has these pretty much down dip lines. But what it shows us is that the motion has been up and down this surface. I measured this surface and it's striking about 110. So that is east southeast. And it is the dip is about 60 degrees. And these slicken lines are going pretty much up and down, so down dips so about 62. So what we can see is that this, this part of the rock has moved down relative to the surface that I'm kneeling on, and so it's extended. And when we have a fault like this, we call it a normal fault.